Hi everybody, Bearded Rogue here, and today I'm going to talk about a little bit more serious of a topic. Um, anybody who was on Twitter today and runs in the board game circles probably at some point ran into uh, large conversations about racism and sexism and uh, their existence in our hobby as something that... Um, is our responsibility to deal with. And I initially, I, I wanted to make a video um, about it because it's very pertinent and it's very important and it's something that we do as a community have to talk about. It's easy to kind of bury our head in the sand and let it wash over in waves or to uh, put your head down and storm through it, but uh, addressing it is the only way that anything will ever happen. And my initial desire to address it was white-hot anger. Um, but uh, I didn't want to be that guy. Uh, I didn't want to be the guy lashing out. I didn't want to be the guy, um, you know, trying to come into the rescue. I'd rather be the guy who's helping everybody deal with it, who's... Uh, forgiving and charitable for the people who may just not know any better uh, and giving them an opportunity to improve or, or address it. Um, to be supportive for the people who are dealing with it. And supportive doesn't mean fighting their battles for them. It doesn't mean taking over the situation or jumping into the rescue. It's whatever that person determines they need. But unfortunately, you have to ask. Um... It's it's a very complicated situation for me. Um, my second inclination was that I wanted to uh, highlight minorities and women in this hobby, the wonderful, awesome people who I have met through this hobby who meet all of those definitions. Um, and there are a ton of them. Uh, I don't want to name any names now because as I looked at this idea, I started thinking to myself, well, how appropriate is it for a white, straight, side-gendered male to just assume who's a minority and who's not. Or, you know, I, I don't want to be that guy either. Um, and the more I looked at it, the more I realized that the only things really holding me back from making this video was the fact that I was afraid I was going to screw it all up. Um, not that I'm afraid of any backlash. Anybody... Uh, who wants to come at me as a racist or a misogynist, who wants to tell me that this isn't an important issue, uh, they can go to hell. I legitimately have no problem fending off that kind of, uh, that kind of flack. Uh, so the backlash wasn't what I was scared of. It was me being scared of screwing up. I don't want to be the person making assumptions. I don't want to be the person uh, just throwing my opinion out there or throwing my weight around. Uh, that's more of the same. Uh, and uh, I don't remember who it was uh, that said it. It may have been Einstein, but uh, you can't solve the same problems with the same solutions you've been trying or they'd already be solved. Um, I'm totally paraphrasing there, I'm sure I'm butchering the quote, but basically you need a new solution if you're going to solve a problem that's been around for a long time. And I personally don't have that solution. I wouldn't in a million years presume to have that solution. Uh, and I think that's uh, maybe what I can say inside of this vlog, is that... Um, there is an issue with misogyny and racism, not just in our hobby, but in the world. However, board gaming as a hobby is one of the most close-knit, inclusive, niche hobbies on the market. Like, everybody knows everybody, and we are a community. So, I would love to see us as a community get past this, even if other communities or the society at large can't or, or, or isn't yet. 
you know, if we could lead the way, <laughs> even, that would be amazing. I just know that uh, while the world tells me I am qualified to do anything I want over and over again, I think this is a discussion that I'm actually not qualified to lead in. Um, I, I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm not that person. I, um, really feel that inclusivity is necessary in our hobby, and I really feel that getting away from all of the outdated rhetoric and nonsense, I mean, I, I it, that needs to be addressed. Um, however, I don't know that I am the person to address it, and I guess that's kind of the summation of this video is that I want to say something, and what I really want to say is, if you are a minority in this hobby, if you are a woman in this hobby, if you are a person in this hobby, I support you. That's the one thing that I can say. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that uh, before... I trip myself up and try to solve anything here because it's not really my place. Um, board gamers, I love you, all of you, and uh, thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to be a part of this community. Um, let's work together to make it the best community it possibly can be. Uh, anyway, Bearded Rogue, signing off. Later, guys.